Hey guys, today I am super excited to talk about my favorite CMA classes, well, cinema and media arts classes that I've taken at Biola. This year I am a junior at Biola, so this means I have almost three years of film school under my belt. So I just want to share some of my favorite courses, what we go over, what I've been learning, and yeah, just kind of give you a deeper look on what it looks like to be a film student at Biola. So as always, let's get into it. The first class that definitely has been a highlight for me about is transmedia. Uh, what even is transmedia? So transmedia is basically the concept of telling one story across different platforms and maybe um, from different parts or storylines of the narrative. So basically we got to work on an EPK, which is an electronic press kit. I will put said picture here of uh, what mine looks like. But basically I kind of was learning how to tell a story through different platforms. So I wrote a, you know, I had a script, but then also what would it look like as a video game or an episode series on Netflix or um, an online website? Like what would that look like? And so it was really cool and honestly made me really appreciate story building and just how to create a world um, and all the details and, and just really know my characters better. So for me, that was a really huge highlight. And even dreaming of, if I had, if my characters had social media, what would that look like? So for me, it was just like a really cool concept um, and I got to really learn and appreciate about storyboarding. Another one of my favorite film classes that I'm actually taking right now is called Navigating the Creative Project or Thematic Storytelling. And it is taught by a retired Disney Imagineer named Bob Zalk. Bob is the best. Um, but really, we actually are pitching basically a Disney IP attraction or any IP attraction really. So here is mine. Once again, inserting into the frame here. But it's basically, um, we were assigned groups and we had, had a dream about if we can create any uh, theme park, attraction, ride, restaurant, it doesn't even have to be Disney, like what would that look like? And so I'm really learning to appreciate the Disney process. We have so many amazing guest speakers that worked in Disney and beyond, so it's just really cool. So yeah, my group is doing a Big Hero 6 themed attraction and pitching it. So I'm learning so much about how to create a pitch deck, how to present well, and all the details and all the questions that you would need to answer if you worked in Disney. And I'm such a Disney fan, so of course I love this class. Another one of my favorite classes I've taken is Media Lit. Shout out to Professor Swain. I really enjoy this class. I took it last semester. Um, I just learned a lot about what it does it mean to be like literate in media and how do we read media and how do we consume it and what does that mean and all of those things that are honestly super super important. I was really glad to take this honestly last semester virtual because I feel like this past year has made me a lot more aware of the media I'm consuming and kind of like doing more research in it and not looking at things at a face value but actually doing research and understanding how media affects me or how much I'm on TikTok or Instagram influences me. So I think we had a lot of really good discussions in the class and just gotta share a lot of opinions and have really good healthy discussions. So I don't know, I just really enjoyed the class learning more about how media impacts us. Another one of my favorite classes, this was one of my first film classes freshman year and we gotta read this book. Um, Pixar storytelling. So the class was called Art of Storytelling and we did get to read this book and it talks about all the great concepts you need especially in a Pixar movie but what was cool is at the beginning of every chapter it walked through how that concept applied to Inside Out. Inside Out is a fantastic Pixar movie. I think everyone loved it for various reasons but this book kind of went into why it was so well liked. Why was it so well received? And I thought that was great. Uh, our professor also loved Inside Out, and so we'd watch clips and compare. And I, once again, I am not really a writer. That is something I'm a little more insecure about. So we wrote a script and got amazing feedback, but also learned how to implement so many crucial parts and really why Disney movies and things like that are so iconic and well loved and well received by so many, such a wide audience and age range. So I think it was once again, I obviously love Disney and learning about what makes Disney stand out, what makes it so successful, um, even from a business or film perspective. One of the last film classes I want to talk about is Faith in Film. I'm in it right now. It's one of my uh, last Bible classes I'm taking at Biola as part of my theology minor, but it's called Faith in Film. And really what that looks like is watching movies for homework. Well, a lot of my classes do that, but we watch around two films a week, but then on Mondays we come for three hours and just discuss them and what that means. Is there a biblical implications? And we're not just watching Christian films, but we even challenge what even is a Christian film. 
uh, this past week for homework, I just watched Iron Giant in Bugs Life. And then the week before, we were watching Paris Parasite and Crazy Rich Asians. We've talked about Shawshank Redemption, Interstellar, Arrival, and all of these amazing movies. And honestly, exposed me to a lot more movies, a lot of Morgan Freeman movies. But I think it's just been really cool, kind of talking about. Although film can be kind of seen as like a secular world in Hollywood, it's cool kind of seeing how much biblical truths are actually in movies today, whether we realize it or not. I think it's made me a better like storyteller and just made me appreciate stories more, but I think it's really cool kind of the integration and why I love Biola is the integration between theology and my major, which is film, which kind of seems countercultural or counterproductive, but actually it's just seeing it come together is a very full circle moment. I also wanted to shout out two electives I've been able to take in my concentration. My concentration is media management. Now it is referred to as entertainment, uh, producing your entertainment business, but two electives I've gotten to take that are really cool. One is mass media law and ethics with Stu Olson. He is amazing and I really got to learn about what is media law, what is legal, what is not. Even I talked to him about if I wanted to do a podcast, could I showcase other people's music? What would that look like? So I think for me, it's once again, better appreciation of entertainment lawyers and all the work that goes into creating stuff like that. So once again, learned a lot about media law and we got to study cases, which I find super interesting. So that was a really fun elective I got to take. Another one, organizational communication. Dr. Malloy is fantastic. I'm you sure you hear that from a lot of communication students, but really Dr. Malloy is fantastic. Um, organizational communication, that is really organizing in the workplace. And what does communication look like in the workplace? I've had a few internships where it's a corporate environment, but I definitely wish that I took this class before I did those internships, just because I learned a lot about um, communication, speaking, and what are even are the different ways of communicating. And I think a lot I learned about what communications I value in a workplace and what um, I want to bring into this job and other jobs and internships that I have. So it was great learning on a personal but also a professional experience. There are so many classes that I, I could keep talking about that I absolutely love but wanted to share a few highlights and recommendations honestly if you guys are joining us this fall. But yeah, thanks guys so much for watching my vlog. It's been super fun. It's kind of reminiscing and talking about my favorite classes. So if you're interested in film school, let us know. We would love to answer any of the questions you have. But I'll see you guys later. Bye!